thanks for joining us today on Playing the Field Local Edition. I'm Maria Soreo. As you can see, I am in the softball dugout over here at Peninsula High School where you will meet the 2019 girls softball team. Coach, um, give us an overview of the team this year. So uh, this team is a great group of girls. They are um, as impressive off the field as they are on. Um, they are hardworking. Um, they're dedicated. And most importantly, they're nice to each other. Um, it's such a positive place to be, very supportive, um, and and I'm just really impressed with them, and um, I'm really proud of them. Part of coming together as a team, I think one of the big things that we try to emphasize is when you look at your teammates, see the things that you love, not the things that frustrate you or annoy you. And and it's great when they can look at their teammates and um, and see those things that they admire and and say, whoa, you know, you're you're really good at this, or you have this uh, personality trait that I love, or you're really funny, or you're super hardworking, and they can see that in in each other, and um, that that allows the whole chemistry, the whole dynamic of the team to be positive. When you get a new student athlete that comes in, how do you know w which positions they're going to be good at? <laughs> good question. Um, the first thing I do is I ask them, but but when I ask them, um, it's more in the context of what position do you like to play because uh, that goes a long way too. But then uh, a, a lot of times it changes, a lot of times it changes. And there have been plenty of girls who have played different positions here either because we've seen something or because we've just needed them to. Um, then they, then you know, then they played maybe on their club teams or or in the past. So part of that is just you know, uh, um, Coach Holtz does a really good job identifying those things too, and he and I will talk and we'll try them in different positions. And and one of the real fun parts of the team is putting it all together and figuring out how all those pieces are going to fit. And girls, some girls will say, well, maybe this isn't the position that I normally play, but it's not about me as an individual. It's about what's going to make the team the best. All right, Coach, are you a baseball fan? I am a baseball fan. Tell us who your favorite team is and why. Okay, so um, when I was really little, I was a Dodger fan. I was a huge Dodger fan in the 70s, and, uh, and those teams with, with uh, Steve Garvey and Ron Say and Davey Lopes and Bill Russ, I love those teams. And then in the late 70s, they traded a bunch of those dudes away. And as, a, and as an impressionable young person, that made me mad. And right about then, my favorite player started to come up through the organization, and that was Daryl Strawberry. In 1983, he came up with the Mets, and I became a huge Mets fan. And then in 86, of course, they won the World Series with the um, infamous Bill Buckner ground ball. And uh, so um, I've, been, I've been hooked with them ever since. Now, that said, I also really um, have started to root for the Angels. I like um, Anaheim Stadium, and I like going to the games there, and um, so I root for that team, too. Katie, tell me um, how long you've been playing softball and why you chose it for your sport. I've been playing softball since I was nine, and I chose it because, well, my mom wanted me to try it, so I did, and I liked it. So. Did you ever play any other sports? Um, I played soccer for about two weeks. and. Uh, <laughs> what happened with that? Uh, it was just like, I don't know, there was... It wasn't very fun for me. Okay. So, what do you think it is about this game that um, kept you staying with it? There's a lot more strategy involved, and you have to like, even though it's like a slow game, you're kind of thinking the whole time, and you have to work on individual things. But you're in a team setting, so it's more fun in that case. And, and what position do you play? I'm a catcher and third base. Okay. Well, now, catcher, as we know, you have a lot going on all at one time. Um, how often do you work with the pitchers just to get on the same page with them? Um, well, we work with them often, like we just, like pretty much like before every game we're pitching with them, so we got to talk to them about what's working and what's not working, and like what they want to throw. It's just we see them pretty much every day anyway, so. Okay, and then what's the biggest challenge, or, or what is the challenge as far as like doing your schoolwork, you know, having time for sports, is is that difficult, or? Um, it was more difficult last year because I had more, but like this year it's, yeah, it's, you have to kind of balance it pretty well, especially on game days when you have to like stay there later. Yeah. So, Do you watch um, any pro baseball at all? Um, occasionally. <laughs> any Dodgers, Angels, or do you have a favorite team? Um, Yankees. Yankees, okay. <laughs> so I've been playing softball for like pretty much my whole life because I grew up in a softball household. I have two older sisters um, and I just chose it because like I think it would be fun to play with my older sister this year, her last year in high school. And um, yeah, it was just kind of like just something like I knew like I had to choose for that. 
what's it like playing with with a sibling? Um, you know, it could get frustrating at times because they are hard, but like at the same time, like they're always there to support you. Very true. And did you ever play any other sports? Um, I played like soccer for a season. Didn't really enjoy it, and I played uh, two seasons of football. Wow. Yeah. What did you, did you maybe learn playing other sports that could help you with this one? Um, it's really just like you really need to make sure that you're always there for your teammates and like keep your eye on the ball. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What do you work on from season to season to get a little better since you've been playing for a long time? Um, definitely eye hand coordination. That's one thing that like I always will work on. Um, yeah, and just really just like just like keeping my head down and just this like it's just it would help with batting and defense. And what position do you play? I play third base. Okay. What is the biggest challenge playing third? Um, they call it the hot corner, so like um, balls are a lot faster there. And then, um, are you a baseball person? Yes, of course. <laughs> Tell me who your favorite team is. Um, so I was a Dodgers fan, but then they traded my favorite player, so now I got to stick with his team. So I'm a Cincinnati Reds and fan. Would that be Yasiel Puig? No, that'd be Matt Kemp. <gasps> Matt is a red now. My number has been 27, like, the, my whole, like, season, yeah. I've been playing since I was um, about eight years old, and I started playing because I hated to run. My dad put me in soccer at first, and I would just sit in the grass and kind of pick at the flowers. So then he found out softball was a thing, and then that's how I got into it, and now I love it. When you try other sports and they're not quite right, and you try one you really like, what is it about this one that you were like, this is good for me? Uh, less running <laughs> compared to soccer. Um, definitely, um, that there's so much action, especially the position I play, catcher. Yeah. You always get the ball. Like right. there's every, like there's any something going on all the time. You get a hit, you get a throw, you get to run around the bases and catch the ball, throw it, and there's just so much action. It keeps you like entertained. You have even so much more to do because you're working with pitchers constantly g getting to know them and th the pitches that they like and, and whatnot. How much time do you spend with doing that? Um, we practice pitching um, before every game, warm-ups, of course, and then I'll spend about an hour with them warming them up. And then when we have practices, sometimes um, I'll go off with one of our pitchers and then warm her up as well. And then I myself uh, go and do like my own catcher warm-up. Because you've been playing for so many years, is there one specific thing or things that you do like in the off season to get better? Um, I actually played travel ball for a while, so um, on the off season when high school's not going, um, I have travel ball to go to, and we'll practice basically every day. Like that'll be like my life twenty four seven. So definitely all the time. For, for people that don't know, what is the biggest difference between playing in school and high school and playing travel ball? Um, biggest difference is definitely um, competition. Like travel ball is, you want to play in college or you want to play competitively. It's very aggressive. The girls know what they're doing. Like they love the sport and like they'll practice every day and work very hard. Like the level between so, um, high school and travel ball is very different, much bigger gap. And then um, are, are you a baseball person? Do you have a favorite baseball team? Oh, the Dodgers, of course. <laughs> All right, so I started softball in first grade. And um, the story goes that I saw a sign on the side of the road that said, come play for PVP GSL. And I said, Mom, what do the hitters and mitters do? Now, I don't know if that's actually what happened, but that's what she tells me what happened. So that's the story I'm sticking with. <laughs> now, did you ever try any other sports or you saw no more signs or how did it work? Um, I did play soccer until fifth grade. And uh, believe it or not, I also was a dancer until fifth grade until I realized... I don't think I'm graceful enough for this. And so um, I decided to kind of go more into like the tougher sports as softball. You know what, interesting, because you did dance and you played soccer, which your feet work is, is incredible. What do you think you learned doing those things that maybe actually help you out here? Um, well, dance is a pretty singular like sport, um, so it's kind of more about uh, perfecting your technique and a lot of practice. And with soccer, there's a whole lot of teamwork in it, so I was able to take both of those aspects and combine them. Especially being pitcher, there's a lot of um, singular work that you have to do on your own to get the pitches in the right spot, but also come together as a team. You know, I, I often like to ask people, did you know that you were going to pitch, or how did you kind of settle on that? Um, well, I was actually just going in second grade, I was going to a softball camp and it was run by a pitching coach. And from there, um, things just kind of lined up and I have been going to her ever since. You know, 
know, pitching, obviously, you have to do a lot more work. Is that difficult to do all of the, the sports work and your school work at the same time? Um, it's definitely not simple. I do have um, my own um, pitching practice after school sometimes, but um, it's all manageable as long as time management is a major key. Yeah. And then from season to season, because you've been doing this for so long, what do you work on in your own game just to get a little bit better? Um, definitely spins are super important as a pitcher. Um, so a lot of work is done with the hands, um, but also learning different strategies. So with pitching, um, there's a lot of different ways and combinations to throw the ball in order to kind of trick up the batter and um, get some strikeouts. Yeah. And that's the name of the game, that's for sure. Okay, um, are you a baseball person? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Do you ever watch baseball? Um, well, see, I have the Dodger shirt on here, but that is from a prior team um, that we were called the Dodgers. But um, quite honestly, I think playing the sport is a lot more fun than watching it, got to be honest. Yeah. What is it like to play with your siblings? Um, it's kind of just normal to me because I've played with them growing up. We've always been on the same team, so I don't really know what it feels like not to play with them. Okay. <laughs> I know that, you know, your sisters played softball as well. Is that why you chose the sport, and did you play any other sports? Um, I've always done softball, but on my off seasons, I did karate, swim, and water polo. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. So you're an athlete. Um, are the other sports things you will still continue to do, or are you just settled into softball now? Um, karate was just something on the side of softball, so I stuck with softball. But once I got into swim and water polo, I actually decided to take a break from softball and focus on that. But um, it didn't last very long. It lasted a few years, and then I, softball was my thing. Okay. What do you think you may have learned from the other sports that kind of help you out here? Swim, I kind of, it was more like you swam on your own. There wasn't a team. So coming back to softball, I really valued the team sport. And it, what did it feel like so much pressure was just on you? It was something to do as a whole. Okay. And um, what position do you play? A second base. And then it, during the off season, are there things that you work on to get a little better each year? Or? Um, some fielding classes, like previous coaches I've had, they run clinics. Okay. So um, attending those really helps. And then just backyard work that you do on your own. And then um, are you a baseball fan? Yes. So tell me who your favorite team and player is. Um, my favorite team is the Dodgers, but my favorite player is actually Shohei Otani from the Angels. Very good. So, <laughs> very good. Okay, very good. I've been playing since I was four, and it was the one sport you. I felt like I excelled at more than like soccer and cheerleading, because it didn't really matter. Like, oh, you just go out and play, hmm. and, and have more fun. Yeah. Okay. And <laughs> I used to get mad because you couldn't throw soccer balls. <laughs> <laughs> not fun at all no. <laughs> did you try playing other sports I tried playing soccer and then I just I don't know I don't like running <laughs> it seems to be the census around here the consensus was with soccer on um, what position do you play I'm a catcher and a first baseman okay so as catcher you have to really um, work with the pitchers how much time do you spend doing that well, most of the time we try and see our pitchers like every week or like every day of the week and we try to get them to throw at least a day before the game okay. just to make sure everything's on track and if there's any problems we can fix them. Okay. And then um, as far as the coaches go, what are the messages that they always want you guys to remember? To work as hard as we can because if you don't, then you're only failing yourself. Right. Mm-hmm. As a senior, um, obviously you've been doing this for a few years, so you know how to manage the time, but is it difficult to manage the schoolwork with the sports time? You just have to have self-discipline because the moment you start procrastinating is the moment you, like, shoot yourself in the foot and you're like, oh, you, you, know, you should know your limits by now. Yeah. Do you have any rituals that you do either before a game or? We normally like to um, just get together and make sure we know that we're all a team and that not one person can let us down. It's just a team effort, and we all need to give 100%. Okay. Do you have a favorite memory so far of all the years you've been playing? Um, I really liked when we went and had dinner together because you really got to see each other outside of softball and see what we were really like and not just, oh, sports, sports, sports. So you talk about other things too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then um, are you a baseball fan? No, it's really boring because the field's so big and they are really slow. 
I got like fast paced games. I've been playing softball ever since I was 10 and I chose it because all my friends were playing it and I did play other sports when I was younger but I don't know softball just kind of stood out to me and it's just something that I've loved like I've always had a passion for I guess. So you kind of led me into my next question. What other sports did you play and how do you think that playing other sports maybe helped you out here? Um, I played soccer, I tried volleyball and a little tennis and I used to swim too and I did dance. I wasn't very good at dance though and I think that um, those sports they helped me have a better idea of like what a team is and like how we need to work and I'm just thankful that I was exposed to them because um, because of the people that I met and of the friendships that it gave me. Our relationship on the team is like really good like we're really tight and um, I love the girls like I love their energy and like how much passion they have for the game and it's just nice um, coming out here after school after a long day and just like playing with the people that you love and like you all know that you're doing the one thing that connects you all the most. Uh, you said you play outfield, is that right? Yes. And what do you think is the biggest challenge when you're out there? The biggest challenge is definitely getting a good jump on the ball and reading it and um, just making sure to get to the ball or get to the spot before the ball does so you don't miss it. Okay. And then what's the messages that the coaches try to get you to remember? Um. I always hear from Coach Holtz, don't drift, and he has two rules, which is don't die and don't cry, And but I think their overall message is just to have fun and do everything that I do with a purpose. Very good. And then, are you a baseball fan at all? I am. Okay, tell me who your favorite pro team is. Uh, the Dodgers. Any favorite players? Chris Taylor. I've been playing since first grade. Um, I I didn't really chose it. My mom signed me up for it, and then I just stuck with it. What is it about the game that made you want to stick with it? I think it's just the competitiveness and that how like it was fun, like competing and like just like trying to like be better than like you know you could be. Okay. It's just fun. Yeah. Yeah. Did you ever play any other sports? No. Okay. Okay. So this is it. This yeah. Is and then what position do you play? I'm a shortstop. Okay. So playing short, there's a lot of challenges. What is the biggest challenge for you? I think the biggest challenge is just like. Like, knowing where you need to be on certain plays, because the shortstop, you're covering, like, a lot of ground. So you have to, like, pay attention to the batter, look at her hands, like, see, like, if she's going to bend, like, if there's, like, runners. Like, it's just, like, taking everything into context and just, like, thinking about, like, what you have to be. Yeah, because it's a very active position on the field. Yeah, okay. it really is. And what are the messages that the coaches want you to remember when you're out there? Um, like, when we're at shortstop or just in general of the general. game? Yeah. I guess just, like, Communicating. Communicating is key, especially like at shortstop. Cause sophomore year, I got a concussion. Cause there was a pop fly. It was like kind of shallow, but the center fielder like kind of caught it, and then like I was there too, and we just crashed. So yeah, so communication is key. Um, do you watch baseball? Um, I don't watch it, but like I keep tabs like during the World Series because my family does. But yeah. Right, so which team do you like the best? I used to like the Yankees, and Jeter was my favorite, but he like left, so retired. <laughs> So yeah. did you pick up a new team yet? No, I just, like, uh, like if it's on, like, I'll be, like, just watching it and, like, get into it. But, like, I don't really have a team. I've been playing softball since I was six years old, and I actually didn't choose it. Um, in fact, the night before my parents signed me up to play in the PV League, I said that I wanted to quit, but they couldn't get their deposit back. So this is how I've ended up where I am. <laughs> There's always a story, right? Yes, of course. Okay. Um, did you try any other sports along the way? Oh, yes. I've been playing soccer since I was four, and I'm still playing for high school. Interesting. Okay. Because you play two sports, what do you think you learned playing soccer that helped you on the softball field? I feel like for the most part is anticipation of the next play. Make sure I'm thinking before the ball gets to me in either sport. For the most part is just making sure I have the mental game down. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? 
usually just the fundamentals and obviously once again making sure that I'm in the right mental state and I'm not thinking too much but that I tackle my mechanical work before I get to game day. Okay, Because you play sports and you're in school what do you do when you're not doing those things? What else do you like to do? <laughs> I like to hang out with my friends, go to the beach or the mall. I love to shop and also I'm part of charity groups and I volunteer. Okay. What position do you play? I play shortstop. All right. So what are the biggest challenges at short? Because there's a lot going on right there. Um, just like knowing what the next play is going to be and make sure I think of that before the ball gets to me and also just like working the angles so that I can have as much range as possible. All right. And last question, are you a baseball fan? Yes, of course. Tell me who and what's your, who's your favorite player? Ooh, that's hard. I have been very interested in watching Cody Bellinger play. And I don't know, I just, I was an Angel fan, but then they took a little turn and I just thought when the Dodgers were in the World Series, I was like, I got to be a fan. If I live in L.A., like, and he's just a good player that caught me. I've been playing softball since I was seven, I believe, so that makes it eight years. And I chose it because uh, my parents, like, wanted me to sign up for some sport because I wasn't really, like, involved in anything, so... I thought it'd be like a nice way to like make me like make friends and like that kind of thing. So yeah. You stuck with it for a long time. What is it about the game that really got you? Um, just like meeting new people and like the whole competition sort of aspect of it and just like the whole teamwork, sort of like working together to accomplish a goal and that kind of thing, yeah. Okay. And then did you ever play any other sports? No, this is currently, yeah, this is the one, yeah. And then what position do you play? I play outfield, mostly like right field. Okay. Um, what's the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Message, well, just like be in the moment, be focused on yourself and, you know, not really like worry so much about like the outcome, but just like stay focused on what you're supposed to do and like execute. Are you a baseball fan? Yes, I'm a baseball fan. Tell me who your favorite team is or player. Uh, my favorite player would have to be Javier Baez of the Cubs. Yeah. So are you a Cubs fan or? Uh, yeah, I'm a Cubs fan. There's a few of you out here. Yeah, yeah, a few, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing softball for four years, and I chose it for my sport because a bunch of my family was doing it and a bunch of my friends were doing it. It really seemed like a fun sport with like a lot of teamwork and a lot of cheering and everyone just seemed to have a lot of fun. Okay. Did you play any other sports? I played soccer and I ran cross country. Okay. What do you think that you learned or that you got for doing either one of those two things that actually helps you with this? Um, I think cross country definitely gave a lot of endurance and not giving up because after you know six to ten miles you're kind of done. But it helps a lot, like in games, even when you're down, like 2-0 and or something, um, you're able to kind of pick yourself up and be able to move on. Okay. And then what position do you play? I play outfield and first base. Okay. What do you think are the biggest challenges in both positions, because you're an infielder and an outfielder? I think the biggest challenges are with, like, speed most of the time, getting to the right place at the right time, because... Once you practice enough, your mechanics will come naturally. It's just more of being able to get to the place and not letting yourself kind of zone out. Okay. And what's the message that the coach always wants you to remember? Um, he always, he's big on focus. So he likes us to remember to, no matter what happens, whether we're winning or losing, um, wherever we are in the game, to just always like keep focus, keep on the field, and keep cheering each other on. I've been playing since I was about six years old, and I always played because my dad used to play baseball, so it was a really good bonding experience with him. Did you ever try any other sports? Um, I used to play tennis a lot, and I used to play a little bit of soccer. From playing nose, what do you think that you learned that helps you out here on the softball field? Um, I definitely, from soccer, I definitely learned about just like working together as a team and communicating. And from tennis, I got a lot of hand-eye coordination and footwork, so I think that really helps me in softball today. What position do you play? I play second base and outfield. Okay. Because you play both, infield and outfield, what are the biggest challenges that you kind of have to learn playing both? Just making sure I know where to go on each play and I don't get confused between each position and what to do. Do you have a favorite position? or? No, I just like playing all. I like As long as I can get on the field, I have a good time. Okay. Because you've been playing for so long, what do you tend to work on from season to season to get a little better? Um, I always want to 
improve like on my hitting and just footwork and technique because I, I can always work and do better on that. Okay. And then what's the messages that your coaches want you to remember when you're out there? Just to always communicate and work as a team. Okay. And um, are you a baseball fan? No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been playing since I was six. Um, my mom wanted me to do ballet, but like my whole family does baseball and softball, so I, I loved it. I saw them, and I just knew it was for me. Okay, you've been playing a very long time. What position do you play? I play first. Okay. What do you work on in the off season to get a little bit better at your own game? Well, I usually um, practice with my family. And, like my cousins are all pitchers, but like they also help me out with all kinds of stuff, like the whole for batting. Oh, that's like. My, I guess my strongest point right there. Um, they help me out with all that, you know, the pitching and everything. What are the messages that the coaches want you to remember when you're out there? You know, just have fun, um, enjoy the sport. Like, of course, they're not going to push you to the point where you hate it. Like, they, they want you to enjoy it, you know. Like, in softball, we come here every day just, you know, because it's our escape. So it's, it's nice. You should enjoy it, you know. Absolutely. What do you think the biggest challenge is um, when you're playing? Um, I think it's just me overthinking it, everything, like, I I don't want to mess up, I don't want the coach to, like, be disappointed, but it's just, like, the, like I said, they want you to have fun. It seems like you, you, all you girls are very close, too. Yeah, we are, like, we all joke around before practice and everything, every once in a while we'll talk, like, outside of it and, you know, check up on each other, you know? Yeah. And then, um, since everybody in your family plays, um, are you a pro baseball fan? Yes, I am. Tell me who and who you like to watch. I'm a Dodger fan. My whole family's Dodger fan. Um, I'm a Justin Turner fan. Nice. You know? I've been playing softball since I was six year six years old, and it was just kind of the sport I wanted to pick randomly. Okay. Did you ever play any other sports? Or? I actually played soccer for a pretty long time, but I chose softball because I just had so much passion for it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, what do you think you learned from soccer? Because you did play it for a while. That actually helps you out here. I learned really how to work as a team in soccer really well because softball, I feel like you can get lost in the individual, but in soccer, you really have to work as a team. What do you think the biggest challenges are for you playing softball? For softball, it's really just uh, getting the right mindset. What's the messages that the coaches want you to remember? Uh, the coaches want us to remember just to stay positive and work hard and put a lot of focus into everything you do. Okay, are you a baseball fan? Yes. <laughs> Tell me what team and who you like to watch. Uh, I like the Angels, and my favorite player is obviously Mike Trout. Center fielder is center fielder. Obviously, yeah. <laughs> I've been playing softball for 10 years now. Um, I started when I was six, and my dad coached like my first few teams, and he just like encouraged me to keep going, and I really enjoyed it. Did you ever try any other sports? Yeah, I played soccer when I was really little, and I didn't like it, and basketball too. There was too much running. <laughs> that seems to be the consensus a lot. That's what we're hearing. Um, what message did the coach try to um, get you guys to always remember? Um, like when my dad was coaching me, like he would just encourage us to keep going no matter what. Like despite like making mistakes and stuff, just keep doing it, and keep trying, and just brush off the mistakes. Is it difficult to balance the athlete time with your school time? A little. The practices are long, but I think it's worth it, and I enjoy it. Are you a baseball fan? No. No. Okay, so <laughs> you're an athlete that plays but doesn't watch, right? Yes. <laughs> And that will do it for today's show. A big thank you to the girls and the coaches here at Peninsula High Girls Softball. Thanks for being with us, and thank you for watching. I'm Maria Soreo, and we'll see you next time.